I was a child of the 50s in television, and one of the uh, shows that struck me was Perry Mason. In a democracy, all men are created equal. Now, what was that? I can't hear you, Mr. Graves. There seemed to be this guy who could always figure everything out. And I found it fascinating. Later, you know, to my college years, law became a vehicle for positive social change. And I wanted to be a part of that. My late stepfather, uh, when I was in high school, introduced me to the classics. I was reading Aristotle and Plato and James Baldwin and Shakespeare. He introduced me to Shakespeare. Didn't understand it all. So he taught me the importance of reading. James B. McCullough. He was sensitive to the issue of increasing opportunities for minorities, African Americans, and Mexican Americans. People often ask, what is the law? The better question is, what are the facts? Once the facts become clear, then the law becomes clear, much like the leaves of the tree turn toward the sun. I view the Justice Center as vital to the administration of justice. Most citizens may lack the resources to engage in full-scale litigation. The lawyers whom I've encountered from the Tennessee Justice Center are exceptional. All communities and neighborhoods are cells of the body politic. And if some cell in the body is ignored or is injured, and if it doesn't get the necessary attention, it can adversely affect the other part of the body politic. And so to me, it's important that particularly government uh, give consideration to whatever the needs uh, of those in our community are greatest. And if you make one part of the community better, I think it makes the whole of the body politic better. I had two moments that I remember. One was I was walking down the street on uh, Church Street. And this guy came up to me and put his hand on my shoulder. And he said, um, I just want to thank you for the respect you, so, you showed me when you sentenced me. And just want to let you know I got my life back together and I just appreciate how you treated me. The other was a telephone message I got from a grandmother on Father's Day. Just want to wish you a happy Father's Day. Uh, you meant it meant so much to me that you let me give my grandson a hug before they took him into custody. And so, those are the kind of moments that I remember. <laughs>